you know, I always get in, get in with him, and he get to teach me some of the stuff he know. I always had it in the back of my head. Just protection is key. So, you know, the stuff that he already had in his head, you know, going through here, I, I was doing the same thing. So the, the, the change is really not that big. It's just some minor little things I got to get, you know, right, like basically like patience-wise coming through the blocks and stuff like that. But it would be all right. Just like the opportunity to get out there and hit people a little more? Than yeah, I'm a rowdy guy, man. I ain't even going to lie to you guys. I'm a rowdy guy. I like to hit. I like the contact. I like to deliver the blow. Sometimes I get knocked down. But, hey, I've been knocked down all my life. It's, it's all right. But I, I love the contact, though. So the fullback position, yeah, I, I can say it's for me. To take you back to high school playing some safety and linebacker. Yeah, and that. that's what it, I think it does. Like, because I get to, you know, now I get to, when I be talking trash, I get to be up in their face. And then sometimes when I'm driving somebody in the ground, you know, a little couple dirty words come out. But that's all in the game. It's all in the game. And, they, and it's nothing really, you know, that big of a deal. But I just love the contact part of it. And, you know, and then getting getting to open up the holes from, from my younger, the, the younger backs coming up under me. So they, and then teaching them guys, you know, what, am I, what, what, I'm, what I'm seeing out there and being at the running back spot, you know, last year, just, you know, some of the stuff that I, I, I know now, I wish I would have knew then because now it's coming to me a lot easier. What's, what's it like for you I mean, being the senior in that room now, being, I assume, the vocal leader of that room? Yeah, I've been through some things in my life, and I try to, you know, the things that they're going through, I've already been through. So, you know, I ain't saying I know everything, but, you know, it just – just being an older guy in there, I try to, you know, give them some tips on, you know, in personal life, you know, on the field, just, you know, all types of things that they can help them, you know, grow as men, you know, just to become, you know, better people in life, you know, just period. I know I've been through, like, just the stuff off the field and my younger guys just hoping that they don't have to go through the situation I went through. So I just hope for the best for them. And then while I'm here, I'm going to give them as much as I can. I'm a caring person. I'm not about myself. That's why I move into fullback. You didn't see me all on social media or talking about, oh, man, I'm, I'm ready to go somewhere else. It's not about that. It's all about, the, you know, what opportunities you get, you just run with them. You're kind of the, the Riley version on the offense, the, the vocal yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm the guy that's run, yelling, running around, yelling, talking trash to everybody. But everybody knows his love. It's nothing personal, you know. When I'm in the locker, I mean, I'm in the weight room, and I see guys, you know, don't got that much weight on, on um, their bar, and I know they're capable of doing more. I'm one of them guys that's gonna pull their car and be like, that's not enough. Not caring what they're gonna say or anything, because, you know, I want them to do the same thing as me. I want everybody to do better. So you still pretty open with the stuff you went through last year and trying to use that to help other guys? Yeah, yeah. The stuff that I went through last year, um, it all, you know, molded me to be who I am today. You know, I'm not mad about anything that I went through. I wish I could go go through them differently, you know, the situations that or the, um, the, the positions I got put in, you know, I, as I know now that I go through them in a different way. But they, they molded me to be who I am today. And, uh, you know, the, the, the consequences and stuff I had to go through, I really appreciate, you know, Coach D, you know, giving me another chance to be here because he, he strengthened me to be strong at heart because, you know, he could have gave up on me. And by him sticking with me, that goes to show that it's my family.